In the first video, we ungrouped our outline, and I mentioned that you could change it to a different type, but you might want to be very careful. Depending on the image and the width of the outline, there may be more editing involved than what you want to do for, you know, an outline area. If you do not see all, the, all of the pieces in your resequence view, like displayed here, look at the top and see if your color button is showing or if your object button is showing. If all you're seeing are color chips here, go to the top and select objects to access all of the pieces in the design. There are a lot of outline pieces, but we can select these all very quickly and edit them at one time. Move your mouse to the first section of the black outline and left click. The first section is going to be surrounded now in your resequence viewer with a blue outline. Use the slider bar and scroll down to the last section and then press and hold your shift button on your keyboard and left click on that last section. All of the pieces in between are going to be selected now for editing. At the bottom of your screen, unless you've moved your toolbars around, you have a toolbar that gives you different options. The option for select is going to be a hand icon. The polygon select, which we'll cover in a future video, is going to allow you to kind of draw around something. The object details is going to let you access your stitch settings. So we're going to go ahead and select object details. We're going to look at changing this satin line to a different type of line. To change this, you should be in your line stitch, and satin line should be displayed. Go ahead and click on the arrow next to satin line, and let's change this to a triple run line. The stitch length of two is going to allow you to navigate small corners, but we may still have some editing to do. Um, just because a 2.0 stitch length, while it's short, it may not be short enough to navigate everything. We're going to go ahead and click OK, and the program's going to change that outline now to a run out. Let me zoom in a little bit, and if you remember in the webinar, I told you to press the B key on your keyboard, and then left click and hold the mouse down, and drag a square around where you want to zoom. I'm also going to turn off the image so that you can see what the design is looking like, rather than with that background behind it. And to do that, I go to this little picture frame icon, and I click on that to turn off the image. Okay, our outline isn't looking too bad. It's pretty close to things. You can see down here, there's a little bit of a gap, maybe. So you're going to have to do a little bit of editing. We're going to cover the editing in a future video, too. But I'm going to give you a couple of tips and see what you can come up with on your own. I'm going to scroll up, and let's select the moon. I left click on the moon. You can see it's surrounded now by the little black boxes. But since we're zoomed in, you'll note the pink line more than the black boxes. On this toolbar at the bottom of your screen, there's an icon called Reshape. You may also hear the term Node Editing, because as soon as I select an area, like I did for the moon, and then I select this icon, I'm going to have little nodes placed around the shape of the um, area. This is going to let me reshape things by left-clicking and holding my mouse down and dragging these little nodes into different positions. I can even, if I have a node like here that maybe is causing a few problems, I can left click on it and press the delete key on the keyboard to remove the node. So if you want to spend a little bit of time and adjust things, um, this is good practice. It's not necessarily the easiest way to do it, but it is good practice so you get comfortable using the nodes.